everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 2. Uh, today, let's just get the doors open. Today we are here at Ebbsfleet, uh, but we're in a very unusual Ebbsfleet because it's not a super well detailed Ebbsfleet and that's for good reason because after a long and painful journey I have finally managed to um, get the other platforms to work through several more mods which will be all linked in the description uh, for those of you who are already asking that. Um, so you can tell it's not super detailed. I mean you can really detail that. This would be an international platform, then domestic, domestic, and this one would be another international. So we've got two domestic, two international, and then loops around the sides. We've got another train up here. Who is going to need to stop just there because we have right of way here. We'll lock up the doors. We will get our day running lights. KVB on, TVM on, and let's get moving. Oh, we need to close the circuit breaker. Right, pantograph. Pantograph? That's the one. Right, now we can go. Nice. And we're also going to be coming into the international platforms at uh, Stratford, which will be cool. Yeah, you can see it's not even, not even marked on there. That'll be an interesting experience. And uh, we're also in the intercity all three of the AI units you probably just saw one on the map are in the intercity 250 livery uh, concept concept design uh, that was you know originally designed when BR was still a thing to be operated on the CTRL and yeah so obviously not this train but you know, it's a livery that was presumably going to go on it and it, it's quite bland, but it's quite simplistic, and I like simplism. Simplism? That's not a word. I like simplistic stuff. That's the one. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you... I've also had a lot of requests to do things. Uh, just note... I've got, I've had quite a lot of requests to do things, so that they're probably going to end up a little bit further down the list. Um, I'm going to actually start seriously planning these videos, because um, bizarrely I don't do that yet. I just kind of do whatever I want to do on that particular day. Um, but yeah, so I'll start planning them and then I can get... Um, a rollout of what's going to happen when, which should be cool, and I'll publish them probably on my website for each month. So yeah, that'll be fun, and I hope that's a benefit to you guys. So anyway, speeding down the tunnels. Absolutely ripping through here. So just going straight to St Pancras, uh, not stopping at Stratford, not doing any of that funny business, because I don't think it's necessary. Just enjoy it for the high speed value that it is. Why wouldn't you? So yeah. So just out of interest, the mods that uh, people, people like you, I don't know why I said people, the mods that you will need to have if you uh, want to use this livery for yourselves, um, there are two of them, I'll link both of them, one of them basically allows AI to use these, so it adds a bunch more AI services that use the international platforms, uh, well not the international platforms but the platforms over here at Ebsley that continue down to Ashford, and there are also, there's another mod that um, enables it for you so that one 
doesn't makes it so that you're not immediately kicked out for um, not being in a simulated area, which it does if you only have the mod that allows you to use that area. So you need to have both of them, and then you drag them into your dot packs folder, which can be found in your um, uh, TSW2, uh, Train Sim World 2, TSW2, by uh, then content, and then D, um, content, and then DLC. So not the dot packs folder, it's the DLC folder, sorry. Um, well, there's a full readme that tells you where to put them, and if you're doing this kind of stuff, you probably already know where to put them. Um, and it's the same procedure for um, the dot packs livery tutorial that I've made. So you can just follow that, but substitute the dot pack livery with the dot pack mod, and that's how you install all mods for this game. It's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, so I've got a tutorial on that uh, somewhere just search it and yeah um, and for the millions of people who are going to ask if you can do this on console no you can't as you can't do any just listen to that uh, as you can't do any um, third party liveries any um, any what else can you not do you can't have any mods can't have any uh, dot pack liveries it's pretty limited but you know if people like console then people like console I guess can't change that I was seriously contemplating getting this game on console after all it's included with um but the Train Sim World 2020 is included with Xbox Game Pass, and that's the um, the collector's edition or whatever it's called, the deluxe version, whatever it's called. It's included with Game Pass, so I mean that could be an option. But then of course you can just get Game Pass for PC, Game Pass Ultimate, and it's cheaper for the first few months. I have Game Pass, but I might un unsubscribe because it's really expensive, and for the after the first few months, it's really expensive, and I don't use it at all, pretty much. So I might unsubscribe from that. I've already got Xbox Live Gold. That's good enough. And at this point I would go around insulting other games, but I learnt my lesson when I insulted Roblox. So, you know. Not that, say, if I say Minecraft Dungeons is... I'd rather play Minecraft Java than Minecraft Dungeons. I don't know how many people will get mad at me for that. I know I've got... I know some people who are adamant that Minecraft Dungeons is so much better than Minecraft. It's not, but, you know, whatever. And I, I was joking with them. Well, that's the only opinion that can ever be wrong. Anyway. Oh, I get this now. I was always wondering why there was a, t a um, turn up to Australian. A set of points here in Stratford Station, but it's so that they can, trains can access the crossovers from the fast lines, isn't it? Oh, God, it's a brainwave. Alright. So much of a brainwave that I move on instantly. I would get an external camera shot now, but you know, it's just tunnels. Just tunnels all the way to St Pancras from now on. You know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I wonder where... So I found a bunch more stuff. What's that for? Can't be a tea holder. Is that the cab light? That's not the cab light, because the cab lights are there. This is kind of a nice cab, it's 
it's cosy, but it's also it's also like it feels like a proper cab. You've got all of your buttons. You've got hardly any. You've got one screen, two, and these are the CCTV screens. But aside from that, you've got all of your manual stuff, as opposed to the IC, which is just screen there, screen there. You know, it's it's a very almost traditional cab. I just I like it. And, and it is cosy. It, is, it's, it feels very cosy. But the, the unusual thing is it's a high speed train but it's got an integrated power brake handle. You know usually like you'd have, like on a TGV you've got all of these buttons and stuff would be hidden underneath somewhere or over on the side. And you then you have much more stuff on the side, and in the centre it's just your stuff, and you've got a separate brake, and two separate brakes, and all of your other stuff. But here it's just one brake, one accelerator. These are the only crucial controls you really need. Here we are at St. Pank uh, St. Pancras, at Stratford. And to catch up to it, we are but one time. I need some screenshots, I'll have to get them later. Anyway, this is nice, this is good. Ebb's no. fleet to St Pancras in 10 minutes, that's pretty good. It could be in London in 10 minutes. That's astonishing. I love high speed rail. Got into a bit of a discussion on the. Oh, time to come down to 200. Got a bit of a discussion on, in the comments about you know, Australia's high speed rail. It was an interesting discussion. Come off the brake there. Just going to accelerate. Uh, we just see it decelerating from the hill. So if we just use the hill slightly, in full throttle, and we're still like, decelerating. All right. So we'll go back down to 160, I believe. That'll be. Is indeed back to full throttle. Oh, down even more? Are you kidding? All right, I guess this one's going to be down to 100, so we'll go to full full brakes for that one. That was just in time. Got full throttle for this one. It's very steep here. We're just about to leave the tunnel as well. Holding the speed. <coughs> <coughs> Got COVID. Ugh. Oh, that that was. Uh, uh, uh. Didn't mean to do that. Bloody hell. Right, down to 80. Didn't see that. It's going to be a very rough ride for lay passengers, isn't it? And considering that they're literally being thrown around inside here. Wouldn't be a very pleasant experience on one of my trains. Anyway, and we should have the KVB ding go on in a second, just to signal that we're leaving TVM, I think, or not. Going this way into the international platforms. Got to decelerate hard there. 
that's 60. That was, what's auxiliary? Oh, okay, that's auxiliary on. Alright, whatever. Fifteen minutes and we're at St Pancras, that's pretty good. Okay, and then back up the hill. Got the East Midlands Railway coming in on our side. It's KVB telling us that we're speeding. Oh no, we're speeding. That is a real shame. We're speeding. Okay. It's so weird how there are so little approach platforms into St Pancras for the high speed. You've got one, two, three. I mean, three approach lines. For how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight platforms. And then these platforms don't even have physics. It's weird. And you know, we're off the tracks now. We, we have ceased to exist on the map. Train's gonna fall off. Do you reckon this is gonna have collisions when we get to the end of this? Do you reckon it will? I have a, I have a thick thought. I don't think it will. I don't think this is gonna have collisions. We've got six platforms on the Eurostar, only four for East Midlands. No full brakes now. I am really curious to see if this, because like the building has nothing. I don't, I don't think he says. I'm, I am curious because like you look down there, there's no physics. Yeah. Oh, no, there is. All right, whatever. No, you want both of them open? Yes. I find that's a little bit of a glitch, but you can see the it's not the buffers, it's that that has the I'm sorry, the brakes are on. Would you like to stop moving? I don't know. Shut up now. I'm gonna shut up. Turn KVB off. Turn you off. No, shut up! No? Alright. 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 Oh, this is going to be awkward. Alright, now that's shut up. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. If you have any suggestions, uh, stick them in the comments. I'll read all of my comments, rightly or wrongly. And, yeah. So, looking forward to the next episode which will, next episode next video scenario coming out on wednesday uh, and you probably heard this a th 100 thousand times from other youtubers but please if you enjoy my content make sure to subscribe it really helps me out and it only takes a second out of your day so thank you guys for watching please like subscribe and share and i'll see you all next time.